So I've got Constagram LE up here and let's go into the presets. I'm not going to go to the main Constagram because um, the main Constagram will turn off all the microphone perspectives button. We'll start with the modern outside. Modern outside is uh, just like Constagram compact. In fact, it's the exact same samples, except the compact version has less velocities, eight less velocities to be exact. And then that's the outside microphone perspective. If you want to see what the microphone perspectives are, you can just uh, click on the uh, show microphones here and I'll show you the outsides or, you know, these ones out here, and the Neumann tubes. So uh, we're going to go into the next vintage inside. So U87s. And then let's go from that to at the piano. At the piano gives you an inside hammer and then player's perspective. And that sort of thing. And let's go back to, next one is elegant room. So it's showing you the player's perspective plus the 414s in the room. Really nice room sound. It's uh, got a nice tone to it. It's the actual sound of the room. There's no fake in that one with reverb. That's what it is. Inside articulate. So this is going to be the inside microphones and the hammers. Expect this to be your typical piano sound that you're most used to from workstations and such. So I'm holding down, getting 90 notes here. So we've got lots of things triggered at once there. Just to let you know, I'm running this off of a solid state drive. My solid state is a two terabyte solid state drive. It's running through eSATA to a Thunderbolt connection. It's running on a Mac Pro right now is what we've got. And um, to be honest with you, the speed of this through the eSATA is getting less than 300 megab. Um, bytes per second, but it's totally usable for this library, especially the 16-bit version, which we're listening to right now. And let's go from Inside Articulate to uh, Dream Sequence. Uh, these presets I imported over from the production Grand. Just to give you an idea of what the tone was between the two if you're a user of uh, production Grand. So this is using the same reverb and the same similar microphones. So I was very fortunate that when we made this product, we used the same studio for both Concert Grand and for Production Grand 2. Uh, they were both recorded using the same equipment and basically the same microphones with the addition of a couple of mics on Concert Grand. So what do we have here? Classic Vibe. Classic Vibe, I think, is adding some tape on the uh, master yeah tape and some eq so it's eqing on the low end which is cool it's getting some nice tones out of there it's a little bit more body if i take off the eq and the tape simulation and then add it back in you can hear that it just warms it up a little bit uh, with no real downfall in the sound in that regard let's go to a robust D and see what we've got. Go over to the mixer settings and we can see from the main as well that they're reflected over here. Robust D is just going to give you that room sound plus the outside and inside. And then here's that without pedal. Minus my bad playing there. And focused room. So with the focused room, we're getting the outside microphones plus a mono in the center microphone. This is a tube U47, um, vintage mic, very uh, sought after. And then for the rooms, we have these mics actually over off to my mouse over here. You can see a picture of what they are. They're the ribbon microphones, the uh, Royer SF24. Gives a nice sound. It's kind of the reason why I call it the focused room is that it does have that little bit more of a center image to it. And moving on, modern room. 
So the modern room was obviously the same thing with uh, 414. So it's less of a ribbon sound, more open with the condenser mic on the room. Still sounds great, right? For our... Still sounds great with that. Um, and you can, at any time, you can adjust these settings as well to only hear the room. So. dissonance for you and uh, then moving on from the modern room to the recital hall so this one um, is a little bit tricky sometimes on headphones i don't like the sound of it it's combining the room with some reverb on top of it so So you can play your finest Bach with that and it will still be a little bit articulate. Um, Pop Monster, I think what I did is I went over to the effects, added some tape compression on it. Sometimes I add the master compressor as well. Yeah, so then if you're... Right, so I even got... So if you're doing your monster pop or, or even a ballad... get um, a little bit more forward of a sound with that and then finally warm pop is adding some EQ to that back to that so there are the presets